Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, just a quick announcement before uh, we kind of go on. Obviously, uh, a lot of stuff is going on. There's so many um, headlines just in the last 24 hours that are just having your head spin. You're almost kind of losing track of what day it is. But uh, there are rumors going around uh, that if things get much worse, which again, they, they absolutely can as far as uh, the spread of this virus, um, I think the mayor of New York City uh, issued um, some sort of some sort of state of emergency. So there's rumors going around that they actually might close the floors of the New York Stock Exchange on the Amex. Um, the fact that everything now is is digital and uh, there's offsites and everything in between. But if there is some sort of like stoppage in trading for any day, and again, who knows if there is or won't, but uh, if there is, uh, what we'll do that day is I'll send out a link uh, to you know to the public um, and for all you guys who need some help, whatever the case may be, uh, that day we'll have kind of like a, a town hall meeting. I'll try to help as many people out uh, as possible. So kind of look out for that just in case, just in case, because we do, again, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that everybody is in the right frame of mind and the most important part is even though if the market will be closed at any point, I, and I personally think, I think the market should just for everybody to kind of get their feet under them, to kind of take care of some affairs. But if there is a day that there is no uh, trading, we'll definitely uh, do something for you guys. So just make sure uh, you look out for that. So uh, let's talk about it, right? 24 hours of, of craziness. Uh, yesterday, big sell-off, okay? Uh, everybody was waiting for... Uh, Trump's kind of two cents of what is going on, what their plans are. And, you know, I'll tell you, it, it, it looked pretty bad. You know, he came on nine o'clock Eastern time. It, it kind of looked bad. He looked kind of all choked up, uh, whether he was very uncomfortable reading the teleprompter, whatever the case may be, just th it didn't look right. Didn't really give uh, a lot of uh, answers. Uh, he did provide uh, some information about a travel ban, okay, uh, in, in Europe, for the exception of the UK, I believe. Again, yesterday feels like four months ago, so if, if, I, I apologize if I don't have my, uh, if I if I don't have all the details. But um, it, it just really didn't sit great with the market. It really didn't implement anything that felt good, um, and the future started selling off. We were down a thousand points uh, last night, you know, overnight. Uh, again, you saw another. Uh, you saw another uh, curb program trading halt uh, at the open for 15 minutes. Uh, this is the second one we had uh, recently, and and slowly but surely you started seeing you know more and more headlines of how it's uh, you know how this virus is affecting uh, mainstream. And you see you know it was just a matter of time that you saw you saw last night uh, Tom Hanks and his wife uh, talk about well they got tested positive while they're in Australia. Uh, you saw the Utah Jazz right. You saw. Um, Rudy Gobert uh, announced that he was positive, which David Siller, the NBA commissioner, right away suspended the season. This morning, you saw Donovan Mitchell, uh, same team. So you're going to see a lot more of that because everybody's playing each other. Everybody's touching you know, hands and all that stuff. So you're going to see a lot of that. So again, you know, unfortunately, that's just where we are right now. And, you know, this is not going to be, uh, you know, this is not going to be, um, unfortunately, um, taken care of right away. This is just something we're going to have to live with. Uh, I believe the UK, a representative of the UK said they believe there, there's not going to be any type of um, resolve, at least for another, you know, 10 to 15 weeks. And, and again, at this point, I think all of us would, you know, take, you know, would almost sign up for two months worth of a kind of a blow off top into this virus. So a lot of stuff is going on. Uh, you saw this afternoon, uh, the Fed came in, uh, this is like literally when I was at lunch, Fed came in, injected, and I'm literally reading off this, uh, $1.5 trillion in liquidity, and the market rallied. The market was down 2000 rallied uh, to down 900 and then, again, the virus 
basically super uh, trumped. No, you know, no, no pun intended, but it trumped uh, any headlines of the Fed, and we closed down ten percent of the Dow, and and everything went down with it. And and again, um, you know, I, I I made this statement that you know I, I think a lot of people. Number one, I, I'm not in the camp of the whole, you know, doom and gloom and this is the end of the world. You know, I, I said this um, many of times, you know, we, we've survived 9-11. We survived uh, the financial crisis. We're going to survive this. OK, we're going to survive this. But the key is to educate yourself what to do, what not to do. Again, don't go into crowded theaters. Don't go into, you know, anywhere that you're going to be, um, you know, exposed to a lot of germs. It's just it's just not worth it. You know what I mean? It's just not worth it. Um, you know, wash your hands, just your hygiene should be on point, shower as much as you can. Um, you know, you, you're seeing a lot of school closings right now. I'm pretty confident my school, kids' schools will be done uh, next week um, for a while. I'm pretty confident to say that. So again, just take care of your business at home, okay? It's the most important part. Uh, but from the trading aspect, again, like we talked about in last night's video, do what's what what's working. And I said this last night, you know, you know I go, for me, the value is I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be very, you know, very exotic here. I mean, you know, for me, I want in a weird way until this virus just kind of, you know, plateaus or flatlines. Um, I want, you know, for me, value is on the downside. I mean, and, and the downward opens, you know, anytime I see a downward open, especially with any type of fear, 300, 500, 900 points. You know, we've been saying this for, for days and days and days and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. The value is always to the upside. Again, we said that this morning. Uh, we said that yesterday, so the day before, and that's kind of my plan is, and that's what the course of action is, because we're getting at least two or three really aggressive waves uh, in the middle of the day that are giving good channels to the upside. And all you need to do is catch a couple of these things, and you're and you're good to go. But the, the one thing that you know that I, I started thinking about today was was what I was thinking about during uh, the financial crisis. If you guys remember, a lot of people lost their jobs, right? When Lehman, you know, every you know, Bear went under. Um, a lot of people just lost their jobs, uh, lost their homes, lost their jobs, and nobody was hiring. I mean, really, it was just kind of like the credit markets were frozen. Damn it, you couldn't get a library card. Get, you know, forget about a credit card. You couldn't get a library card. And a lot of people who didn't have jobs, they kind of they were a magnet to the stock market. It was like their natural. Um, they were, the, you know, it was like their kind of natural. Um, indication of where they should go. Because again, if you can't get a job, you're going to create your own job. And there was a lot of really new traders that came into the market out of out of desperation because, well, this was the only place. So this and maybe, you know, gambling on sporting events, but this was the only venue that they could have actually sit down and try to create some sort of you know, try to create some sort of value, some sort of income for themselves because there was no hiring. There was a Hiring freeze in every walks of aspect of life, and it was very, very hard. And when those traders came in in 2007, 2000, 2009, they became, and again, I don't mean this in a mean way, but they became food, right? They became food for professional traders. And what I mean by that is because they were coming in with such desperation because they couldn't get any income in other places, this was their shot. This was their Hail Mary first play of the game to not only, you know, not only make money, to make some, some real money. And, and obviously we know how the story goes. When you trade out of desperation, you're going to have desperation type of results and it usually never works out. And I, I, I said it today on, on social media and I said it today throughout the, uh, throughout the webinar that I, I feel like this is such an important time of our lives. Even uh, at this stage of my career, you know, 20, 21 years in, you know, this is an area that we are really trying to educate ourselves and putting ourselves in a position that we can take advantage of the new, right? The new desperation, the new uh, people who are who can't get a job, who are losing uh, sight of um, you know real time liquidity, and their their assets are being depleted. And the moral of the story is they're going to get in. And the, the more times that you are putting yourself in a situation that you are seeing the market for what it is, kind of finding your niche to kind of navigate day in, day out, it's a very, very good opportunity that when the new round of people, okay, when the new round of people enter the arena, 
they become your food. It's not, I'm not saying it in a demeaning way. I'm not making fun of anybody. This is just the reality. So what you're learning now, and again, it might look like the end of the world to you. This is the absolute worst thing that could happen to you. But in a weird way, this is the greatest thing that could happen to you because you are seeing market structure for all its purposes. And for anybody who's been trading the markets for the last 10 to 15 to 20 years, they'll tell you, of course it's terrible. Of course we all want a bull market. But there's ways to take advantage of the food, right? And that's the most important part. And unfortunately, with this new round of people entering the arena, if you're trading for a year, you have a big leg up on them. If you're trading for five years, you have a huge, huge, huge leg up on them. And if you're trading 10 to 15, 20 years, you kind of know what to expect. So it's critical. It's absolutely crucial. Even if you're not an active participant right now on the day-to-day -day market, understand what is happening. Understand the market structure, why it's failing. Understand the massive catalyst, what's taking a lot of people's assets and pretty much sending them to hell in a handbasket. Understand all this because if you can wrap your mind around everything that's going on, eventually when things kind of flatline and we start to learn more and more about this, again, this is a very, very first level, first inning of anything that's going on with this virus. So you need more information to understand. But finally, when we, we really start to grasp exactly what's going on and they finally knock on wood, cross our fingers, find an anecdote, the market's going to start to plateau. When the market starts to, excuse me, the market's going to start to bottom out. And when the market starts bottoming out, eventually bad news will get embraced and engulfed. We're just not there yet. Uh, and again, the most important part, guys, figure out every single part of this market uh, order flow, option flow, uh, the days to push, the days are not to push. Just understand, this is a cash flow market. Nobody's looking for that home run trade. Again, if you come in short overnight, you know, every night you have to kind of open up your eye at the, at the open to see where the futures are. And if you hit, you hit big. If you miss, you're going to miss big. But again, I'm not there. That's not what I want to do uh, every single day. I have a very specific plan. Uh, I wake up every morning. I see the market. If the market is down five, 600 points, I'm just, again, this is a kind of a broken record. I'm just waiting for these channels to develop in, in the beginning of the day. And once they confirm on any type of spike in the future, all I'm trying to do is get as much cash flow as possible and get the hell out of the way. It's a rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat type of scenario. So it's very, very important. Again, you see the NBA season suspended. You're talking about Major League Baseball postponing opening day to at least two weeks. And now, I, I, again, I forgot if it was actually uh, put to bed, but I, I think March Madness, people are saying, oh my God, you know, what's going to happen to March Madness? Guys, we don't need March Madness. You're trading in March Madness, okay? It doesn't get any madness more than this, right? It doesn't get any crazier than this. So just relax every single day, whatever type of trader you are, just relax, breathe. You don't need to trade every single day. You don't need to watch the market every single day. The most important thing is take care of your family, wash your hands, make sure your house, right? Your home uh, is in order. The market will always be there. Just make sure you're taking precautionary areas to be safe. So a uh, pretty aggressive day today, okay? Uh, pretty aggressive day today. Um, good value, okay? Really, really good value. Um, let me just give you guys an idea where we started from and where we where we finished. So, um, yeah, you know, so again, we woke up this morning, uh, woke up this morning again, value to the upside again. This, again it's, it's a broken record, but again, when the market gaps down, your value is going to be to the upside. Um, stay patient, wait for the channels to develop. Uh, and strike with a calm, right? With a calm and confidence. Okay, take flow on the way up. Use break even as you stop. Business as usual. Again, it's very, very aggressive. It's very scary. But if anybody's been trading for a long time, you know, again, this is just something that you signed up for when you're trading decade by decade by decade. So again, it's nothing crazy. So uh, I know, again, uh, 1115, 1120 needs to build. Again, scalp only. Again, again you're not looking to re re reinvent the wheel here. So here was the 1150, 60 minute channel, right? Here's this 11, the, the 1115, right? Excuse me, right here. 1115, 1120 channel. And again, it went almost to 12. Again, is this the biggest move in the world? No. But again, if you did trade it, I didn't trade it. I know this is just not my thing. But if you did trade this thing, you know, gave you a cash flow push. Again, take your money, use break even as you stop and, and just move the hell on. Nobody cares. Uh, so that was fine for all you guys that took it. Uh, Netflix was a, was a big move here. Here's the most ironic part about Netflix. I got long Netflix off this 331. Initially, I put 330, but 331 was a little better. And I turned around and I, and I said, I didn't realize how big the spread was when I bought it. Okay, because everything was moving so fast. 
And when I looked up, I go, and I, and I said this in the room, I, I thought I said it to, in my own head. I turn around and I go, holy, Netflix has a dollar spread. And I got pretty, you know, I got pretty nervous. You know what I mean? I got pretty nervous uh, because again, I said to myself, I was already preparing for like a $3 loss. And the futures spiked up and the stock started spiking up. I made some money. I mean, it went to like 35 and change. I got out way, way before that. I was just happy to be out. When sometimes when, when you see the market moving so fast, these spreads, I didn't realize until I bought it, it was like a dollar spread. I almost had a heart attack. But again, some cash flow is better than no cash flow. So that was fine. Uh, Roku, I scout this as, as well. Uh, 85 needs to build. Um, you know, nice spike, you know, nice spike on Roku gave a quick trade. Uh, the first move, you, know, you can see, again, I know there's a lot of downward channels, but there's, here's the 85 spike here. Uh, once it broke 85, it did go as high as to 86.63. Um, so that was fine. I took it for a scalp there as well. Um, so yeah, take on the way up, you know, for Netflix, Roku needs to build. Again, take on the way up. This was actually the trade of the day for me. Before Apple completely lost its lunch and went, just got destroyed. Here was the trade of, I mean, at least for me it was. This was the trade of the day. Uh, 259 needs to build. Uh, here was Apple. Again, we were just looking for these upside ranges. Here is the 259 right here, right? Here is the 259 right here. And this thing exploded. Oh, excuse me, it was right here. Sorry about that. It was right here. 259 was right here. Apple put up like a, a $3.5 candle. I mean, it was beautiful. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, I took like 359. I took about a dollar eighty on, on the highest print, on the highest prints. I was tickle pink. I was very, very happy about the trade. It went up another dollar, but again, it is what it is. And then Apple just just, you know, by the time I was gone and yeah, it did all this. But again, we're not looking to to guess the, you know, we're not looking to guess the, the highest price of the day, man. We're just trying to win our interval, and that was the obviously the interval to win. Uh, big, big move there. Again, nice moves, guys. Again, and I've said this to anybody in, in the live webinar, you, you know, experience is the most important thing. Okay. This is not a, you know, this is not something that a 22 year old kid's been trading for two years is going through. This is, this is something, man, unfortunately, when I say I wouldn't wish my experiences early on and my worst enemy, this is because I'm really telling you this is exactly what happened. So I never celebrate the market. I never celebrate my existence. I'm just trying to show everybody what not to do. And this is an incredible point of experience over everything right now. But, but again, it's just it's an incredible market. It's an incredible market and not in a, in a good way. It's just an incredible market in an aggressive way. Uh, Amazon, it, it didn't work out. Uh, Amazon, 1745, only went up three points before it got destroyed. Uh, so there wasn't anything there. NVIDIA got destroyed. Congratulations to all you guys who did take NVIDIA uh, 228.60. Uh, if it builds below, it can flush. Here is NVIDIA, just destruction, absolutely destruction in the stock. So here is the 228 right here, the sneaky candles, 228.60. And once it broke down 228.60, I mean, just, just destroyed. I mean, just absolutely destroyed um, on that. Uh, I, 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 by accident, put the Netflix pivot on the regular feed. If you guys saw that. Uh, I put in a, a Netflix pivot accidentally. I put it on the, my regular feed instead of this one. It was like 260. If you, go, if you go on my Twitter feed, you'll see it. I'll show you in a second. Uh, I put the wrong, I just put the wrong price. Uh, excuse me, I put it into the wrong account. Um, 264, um, I believe it was 264. I'll tell you the price right now. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Uh, 264. Yeah, so here is, I'm sorry, uh, 324.65 area, if it builds below, uh, can flush 324.65, and it just got destroyed. Um, here was Netflix, here's 324.65, below this low level here, just destroyed, absolutely destroyed. It's a great job for all you guys who took that as well. Let me go back to my uh, private feed account. Uh, Okay, uh, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. So, yeah, I mean, solid morning. I mean, really, really solid morning. Um, you know, good stuff. Uh, again, you know, here's a person, again, I don't know who this gentleman is. I've never met him personally. But again, you know, this guy, again, 10 for 10. It's, it's pretty damn good, right? It's pretty damn good considering, you know, you're still in the infancy stages of trading this. Again, pivots are very, you know, they're, they're very cut and dry. You know, there's a top of the channel, the bottom of the channel, there's a middle of the range. So you're trying to omit a lot of the noise, but the most important thing is you're, you're trading under control. And again, the game plan is very simple going into tomorrow. Uh, it's the same thing. You know, it's, it's basically the same thing. Again, there was another pivot. Uh, I caught 
the end of that, when I came back home from lunch, I saw the end of this move here, 85, 20 went to like almost, almost 87. Uh, so again, just keep scalping guys, keep scalping. Uh, and I said this, I said, take on the way up, no telling how long this market will last. And I go, well, see, see what I mean? So the most important thing is again, guys, I put this on the Twitter feed and I'm kind of sharing with you guys. Again, if there's any stoppage of trading days in the future, uh, we're gonna send out a link uh, to this, the Zoom hosted webinar uh, that I host. And if anybody has any questions and comments and psychology, any fears, uh, I'll be more than happy to help as many people out. Guys, God bless. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Take care of your family. God's help. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.